Welcome everybody. Uh, my name's Susie and we're going to be making a pop-up butterfly puppet today. It's going to look something like this. And then he's going to go home. Before we um, make our butterfly puppet, oh and here's a little caterpillar too. Um, I'm just going to stick that right in there. Uh, before we make this, I think we should talk a little bit about butterflies and where butterflies come from. So I have this great book on butterflies and moths and they're, they're kind of like cousins. Um, so let's see where they start from. First we have our caterpillar. Now this is a huge picture of a caterpillar. Caterpillars are not this big in real life. They're about this big, okay? But this is nice and close up, so we can see all those great details. Um, you can see they have their pretty big body, and because they're insects, all insects have six legs. They're hard to see, but their legs are right at the front. This is his, his, her, their head. Um, their head looks a lot like their tail, but it, yep, that's the head. And they have a mouth and they have eyes and they have little antennae that you can hardly see. And they have six legs. And because their body is so long, these bumps back here, they're called pro legs and they're like fake legs. And they help move the caterpillar along branches and the ground and stuff. Because uh, otherwise, it would be a lot of work for these six legs to get that caterpillar moving, right? So um, the caterpillar, they like to eat leaves. So they eat and they eat and they eat. And then when they're ready to make some really cool magic, they make a chrysalis. Now, you might think butterflies come out of a cocoon. A cocoon is very similar, but it's moths, the cousin to the butterfly, come out of cocoons, and butterflies come out of a chrysalis. Sim very similar. So they find a good spot on the branch, and they do a lot of wiggling. And it's kind of like the chrysalis is hiding under their clothes, and they take off that outer layer of, it's almost like taking your coat off. And there's this chrysalis underneath, and then it gets hard. So they do like all this wiggling and stuff to get that outer layer off. And then um, there's the chrysalis and it gets kind of hard and it looks like a leaf. It's kind of like a pod. And inside that space is kind of like when you hide under your covers. And it's like they're hiding under their covers for a while and they do this magical stuff. And when they're ready, they come out of the chrysalis as something quite different. So here's the chrysalis and you can see over time it like <laughs> cracks open and they come out and there he is, there's the butterfly. And the, the wings are all kind of sweaty and folded and they have to like dry and be ready to fly. Cause when they're wet, they can't fly. They, they need to dry off. So they sit there for about an hour and they let their, their wings dry and then off they go. It's pretty cool. So here is a very close picture of a butterfly. I'm sure there are some this big. I, I don't think I've ever seen one this big. Um, and the thing about sometimes when we see the parts of the butterfly, it looks like there are only two wings, one here and one here, but actually there are four wings, okay? Butterflies have four wings and they come out of the middle section of the body called the thorax. It's a weird word, thorax. It rhymes with Lorax, like that Dr. Seuss book. Um, so they don't come out of the head, but out of the head you have those antennae and of course those six legs, it's hard to see on this butterfly. And a really important thing the butterfly has for drinking, they have a really long tongue that goes rolling out and they go 
It's hollow like a straw and they drink out of flowers. It's so amazing. So that very long tongue called a proboscis, it rolls up kind of like a party favor. You go and it goes um, so it's going rolls back in into their mouth um, so you can't see it of course. So let's draw a butterfly. All right. I guess big piece of paper. Woo! I'm gonna do mine with a marker. You could do yours with a pencil, but I'm doing it with marker so you can see, okay? So I start with a head. It's kind of like building a snowman, okay? Or a snow person. Um, we have the head, we have the middle section, that's the thorax. And then the lower part is the abdomen, okay? So you've got your three parts. Then our wings come out of that middle section, kind of like big balloons. They go out and they come back in. They go out and they come back in. Now this side needs some. Out and in. Out and in. Then we need our eyes so they can see. We need that mouth so they can eat. I'm gonna put that tongue here, just for fun. And some antennae. And remember, all insects have six legs. One, two, three. One, two, three, that's six. Now, we're gonna think about how we're gonna add some decoration to these wings in just a minute. So I like to just think of shapes. Maybe, let's do a heart and a circle and maybe a smaller heart. Now the cool thing about butterfly wings is what's on this side is on this side. So they are the same, they're symmetrical, but it's kind of like in a mirror. So little heart is close to the body, little heart is close to the body. Circle in the middle, circle in the middle. Big heart at the outside, big heart on the outside. These are the same. They don't have to be the same as the bottom ones. Maybe we have a square and a triangle, triangle. So then we start over here, triangle close to the body, another triangle and square, okay? So there is my butterfly's body. Now, so I'm gonna draw one on some cardboard. I did that already. Actually, I'm also gonna draw, let's turn this over so we can draw our caterpillar too. I'm gonna give them a bit of a lumpy body they're kind of like worms, but worms don't have legs. So six legs, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two antenna, nice little face. And hmm, maybe some dots, just for fun. And we can make some of those fake legs at the back. They help them move along when they're wiggling along branches and stuff like that. I could even put some hair on that caterpillar just for fun, okay? So I'm gonna draw those on this cereal box just like you might have. Uh, I drew them here. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna cut them out, okay? Let's see how our time is. Oh, it's not bad, okay. So, we're just gonna cut those out. And don't worry about getting in all those little areas. You can cut them out like as though you have kind of a bubble around that uh, butterfly. See? So it's like in the bubble. You don't have to cut on your lines. Don't worry about it. And be careful, of course, as you're cutting. Once it's cut out, uh, how I want to color it. So 
there are options. Sometimes people at home, maybe you only have um, crayons. Maybe you have markers. Maybe you have paint. Um, I, I have some crayons and I have some paint. So I did one with crayons. So that guy is already, he's colored with crayons. And I'm gonna show you um, some paint. So I happen to have some acrylic paint and acrylic paint is nice because it dries really fast, but it also never comes out of your clothes, ever. It comes off your skin uh, if you scrub your skin, but don't get it on your clothes. So I have a, a little brush. I, my butterfly is pretty little, so I don't need anything too big. And I'm gonna start with some of the bigger areas. So I'm just gonna paint that. I'm gonna leave the shapes so I can color them a different color because I think that's a little more interesting than having everything exactly the same, right? Okay. So you're going to paint that all over um, and think about, as I was saying, maybe different colors for inside those shapes. Maybe blue might stand out nicely. And maybe I got to rinse that brush. Maybe a little bit of yellow. How about some yellow? Okay, so you can really have those colors pop if you use different colors for different uh, parts of that butterfly. Same goes for your caterpillar. So you wanna try and be creative with how you're painting it, right? So once we've got our butterfly and our caterpillar and we've painted them or we've done some crayon on them, uh, we're gonna work on the chrysalis. Now, <clears throat> the chrysalis is again, big piece of cardboard. And I tried it with two different ideas here. So one I did with crayon. And if you're gonna do crayon, I would suggest, um, do your crayon. Cause you need it, you need to press hard to get those colors on that crayon, okay? kind of a square shape, but uh, it could be a rectangle too. It doesn't really matter. And once it's all your crayon is done, then you can roll it. So you start from the corner and you're going to roll it. Kind of like you're making a do -do -do. <laughs> something to make music with. So once it's like that, then you make the hole at the bottom a little bit smaller than the hole at the top because you want that butterfly to be able to come out and you need the hole at the bottom big enough for that stick okay so that's crayon you would color it first but if it's cardboard or a rather if you're using acrylic you're gonna make your cone first okay So I would just play with it. Doesn't have to look just like mine. It's gonna look different because we're different people. And then I'm gonna take some tape. I just use regular old masking tape. I'm using whatever I've got nearby. And tape it up, go right around, okay? And that's good and solid. Looks like that, I can start to paint it. I'm gonna mix up some green just for fun. So I got some yellow and some blue. I'm gonna mix that up and start to paint. Okay. It can be light green, it could be dark green. If I wanna make it a little lighter, I'm gonna add a little yellow. Okay. You can have some fun with it, why not? I think it's really nice also to paint inside here. Not all the way down, but just at like, I'd say a little bit, maybe 
about that far down because you're gonna see it, right? If I don't paint that, you're gonna see like cereal box. So um, it's kind of nice to hide that. We're, we're kind of disguising it <clears throat> and changing something so it looks a little more fun, right? Now, you can see with this down, where can we put this here? It's dry. I painted in here and I painted all around the outside. I, I just added some different colors just for fun. I was like, well, maybe I'll do some dots or some stripes or I could, you know, add anything you like. And my butterfly, this one I painted, I put this on a real stick. This I got from outside um, and it just goes right in. When it's dry, you're gonna tape it on. I taped it here. You could also paint the back. And it goes right in there, okay? I would suggest too, when it's dry, gently bend the wings a little bit because then it's gonna wanna fit in that cone a little bit easier. Um, and it's not, it won't get so squished because you don't want it to get wrecked, right? Uh, let's just see here how our time is. Our time is. We have a couple more minutes. Um, how you can add to this. So let's say I painted my cone, I've painted my butterfly and my caterpillar. Um, I think it's kind of nice. Sometimes we want to add a little something extra. So you could add some leaves. These are just cut out. I had some green tissue paper lying around, so I cut some out. Um, what I got in here. I have some of these jewels that just stick on, so I could take some of these and I could stick some on my butterfly just for fun. Maybe I wanna give my butterfly sparkly eyes. You see that? Now her eyes are sparkly. <laughs> I also have some pom-poms that easily um there's a little hole in there so i can put a pipe cleaner on so i can wrap it around my stick i kind of like decorating the stick too because it kind of makes it fun okay so now i have a little something on my stick and and stickers that are kind of glittery Maybe I want to do some decorating with those. I could stick that on a wing. Okay. Whoops, she fell off. So you can add as much as you want to this. You could spend hours on this, really. I mean, I could I could just keep going and going all day long. Um, I hope. I hope you have fun making them and I really wanna see what they look like when you're all done. So uh, that's pretty much it in terms of our butterfly puppet. We're painting, we're decorating, um, and there it is, ta-da! I hope you had fun.